Hey guys, welcome to my video. Um, tonight's video, we're going to be doing a little bit more of this capacitor discharge circuit. Um, some of you have commented that you're having some issues with it, so we're going to go over it a little bit more simplified tonight. Um, there's a couple different types here. This is a SCR. This is an SCR. Um, this one is a little bit more complex circuit, so for those of you that can't read or don't understand the regular schematic um, I would say start with this. Um, this one can actually do up to about 4 amps at 20 volt output so it's pretty useful. This is a 33,000 microfarad so if you look at the diagram right here here's your Zinger diode. It has a black spot on this side so the positive goes through here and when it gets to anywhere 15 to 20 volts depending on what you guys decide it's going to go through so that will go through this way go all the way over to the outside lead and then this is your SCR that's three leads and then this is your capacitor which is exactly like this one right here that's the same as those right there but it doesn't have to be exactly like this um, this is an old one I have that works pretty good. This one's 37,000 microfarads, but somewhere in that range um, for how this is set up is kind of ideal. So um, if you guys want to take a snapshot of that or whatever to try this one, that'd be a little bit easier. So um, this is actually set up exactly like this on the paper. So you can see on the left the power comes in and then Right here is the two cap the capacitor connections. This is negative, and then this is where the the Zinger diode is on um, on this side. So it's set up like this. So this transfers over on the top, all the way over to this outside terminal, which is right here, um, to be triggered, and then the middle just comes all the way through to the middle terminal on here. Um, or say this outside terminal and then the middle terminal just comes right back to the um, battery negative so hopefully this will be uh, a little bit easier for you guys to figure out so I have all these voltages set up so you guys could understand this also so the basic one um, is 15 volts so we're gonna put the voltmeter on this and you could see how this runs okay so 14 point 42 volts at the moment, so we're going to just turn this motor on at a low speed and you can see what's happening here. By the time it gets up just a little over 15 because this is a 15 volt zinger, uh, we're pulsing right around 1 amp, a little bit shy of it. So, what we're going to do now, let's set this down here, I'm going to change this out to 18 volts. So depending on how your motor is set up, um, you could go up to 20 volts on the zinger. So this is 18 volts. So sometimes this will make your motor surge a little bit. So let's take a look now here. So let's turn this back on. So now this has an 18 volt zinger in it. See now it's going higher and the discharge is right just past 18 just like the other one's just past 15. It's about 8, 8, 5, 8, 6. And um, another thing is if your output's too high, like if the motor's too big, it'll go like that. It'll be locked off. That means it's just too much output for it so it just stays in the on position. There's no more pulsing. 
So if that happens, that means you your output's too high or you need a bigger capacitor. So now let's put in the 20 volt one. So now this is 20 volts. Be a little bit tricky. This is why it's nice to do um, a little circuit board like this and you can put these blocks on here because that way you could disconnect the wire you could change this out you know if you don't hook this up right this will get burned out and um, so you could switch things out you switch voltages makes it really really convenient so let's fire this up again Oop. So this one's triggering uh, pretty much right at 20. So now this 20 volts in here, now look how much output. Now we're doing 3 amps. And uh, with the higher voltage, you could, you could use a lot more output. But as it starts to go too much, you could see it sticks. And that's fine. That's just direct current going to your battery. But, but it's kind of nice to have it pulsing. So... So yeah, so you do 15 volts at this 33,000 microfarad, you're one amp. Um, 18 volts, you're about two, and 20 volts, you're right there around three. And depending on how low your battery is, because if your battery, you know, is really fully charged, it's not going to go that much. It's just going to start going faster and faster. Um, if your battery is really discharged, like down to like 11, eight or so you'll probably be getting like four to almost five amps um, off the 20 volt zinger. So yeah, if you guys have any other questions, I hope this was um, useful for you. Just leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to scrub.